Good evening, Guadalupe. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm okay. Thank you. Okay, very good. Good evening, Ivan. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. I am good. Thank you. What about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Very good. Okay, uh, we're going to wait a couple more minutes for the other ones to arrive, okay? Uh, I got a question. Yes, sir. I already finished the, the platform, but it says your enrollment audit track. You are, you are enrolled in the audit track for this course. The audit track does not include a certificate. Okay, uh, that I don't know. You have to, you need to call the support team. Oh. Okay, okay. call Elena, send that uh, message to Elena. Okay. okay. So she can arrange that. Okay. Okay. How was your day today? Okay. Good. Good. Okay. And Guadalupe, how was your day today? Oh, it was nice because I went to visit my uncle. I haven't. Uh, see. I haven't see seen here. him. I haven't. I haven't seen him. I didn't see her uh, for a long time, so I'm glad for that. Okay, and where does he live? Uh, Escalón Norte. You know, he's a she's a old woman, so ah, I couldn't okay. visit. So in that case, it's not a, it's not an uncle, it's an aunt. Yes, sorry, yes, yes, my aunt. And and uh, uh, what I said, I hadn't seen her for a long time. Okay, past perfect. Uh -huh. I hadn't seen her. This is past perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Yes. No la había visto a ella. Uh -huh. Okay, very mm -hmm. good. Since uh, marzo? You Since know. March. What? Since March. Yes, March. <laughs> okay, since March. Since March. Good evening, uh, Guille. How are you tonight? Fine, uh, great uh, teacher. Thank you. Um, I've, I've just come right now, but I'm ready to to be in the class. Okay, very good. I'm glad to hear that. Good evening, Maria. Jose, how are you tonight? Hi, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear that. Very good. And good evening, Karen. How are you tonight? Hi, I'm great. And you, teacher? I am fine, thanks for asking. And Eleonora, how are you tonight? Good, good, morning. good night, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I am fine, thanks. I'm okay, fine. I don't know if you noticed that in the WhatsApp group, I sent the same, the same uh, document, but I added a few more exercises, so if you can, have it ready because we are going to do all those exercises tonight. Okay. Okay. Very okay, good. Okay. Good evening, Alexandra. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I just finished the work. <laughs> the platform. No work, work. Ah, My work. work. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. But are you okay? Yeah. Are you with, yeah. enough, with enough energy to to uh, to participate in this class? Always. Okay, very good. That is that is a nice attitude. Good evening, Alex. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, thanks. Fine, thank you. 
I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, guys. So remember that I uh, send this document, okay, to you. And you remember this exercise? Can you see it on the on the screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, now the first exercise was for you to think about a verb. I didn't put the verbs so you can think. But I say, now too difficult. I'm going to be generous and I'm going to put the verbs. Okay, so the first one, Maria Jose, what is the first one? Okay, if you repair my bike, I will help you with the math homework. Okay, very good. If you repair my bike, my I will help you. Very good. I will help you. Excellent. Very good. Now, number two, Guadalupe, what is number two? It will be too hot uh, if he travels to green and out. Okay, now, but remember, is he. So we need, because he's travels. present, travels. That is correct. Very good. Excellent. Okay, next, Eleonora, number three. Is Peter, is Peter sit? Sits, on, uh -huh, on the sofa. Sit on the sofa, his sister, his sister will, will sit. Will sit next to him. Okay, very good, that is correct. Excellent, very good. Now, the next one, Alexandra. Uh, the, poli ah. the policeman will tell you the way if you ask him. Will tell you the way if you ask him. Okay, very good, excellent, great. Okay, the next one, Alex. If it is snow in the Alps, it will rain in Munich. Okay, now, because we're talking about if, how is supposed to be the verb? Because it's in the present. Snows. If it snows, that is in, correct. If it snows in the Alps, in the Alps it, will, it rain. will rain in Munich. It will rain in Munich. Very good. Excellent. Totally correct. Okay, very good, uh, Jordana. What is the next one, number six? I will borrow you my laptop if you promise to be careful with it. Okay, I the verb is lend, uh-huh. Okay, oh, lend, yes, because I'm lending. Again? Okay, so I, I will lend you my laptop if you promise to be careful it okay i will lend you my laptop if you promise to be careful with it okay very good excellent okay now the next one ivan if you add some tomatoes the sauce will taste much better the sauce will taste much better okay very good excellent Okay, very good. Okay, number eight, uh, Gia. Uh, if Tom uses this this string, he will tie up the box. Okay, very good. Now, using these verbs that I have in parentheses, what you did is okay, it's perfect. But I want you to use these verbs now. If Tom, <laughs> the the thing. The thing is that I don't have the, uh, those verbs in parentheses. I know, I know, but you can see this. You can see the screen, right? Let me see. Oh. I cannot. Screen number eight. Let me see. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. I didn't see the document that was. On. It if Tom pull pulls the string, he will open the box. Exactly. If Tom pulls the string, he will open. 
the box. Awesome. Okay, yeah. very good. Excellent. Okay, number nine, Karen. It's if I find Simon if I Mobile. Find. Simon Mobile. I will take it to the office. I will take it to the office. That is correct. Yes. Very good. So if I find Simon's mobile, I will take it to the office. Very good. Do you have any questions about this? No. Oh. No? Okay, very good. Now, here I have more examples. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Uh, if I don't want to use will, I can use might with uh, some of the sentences that yes. we have. Yes, sir. Remember, okay. you use might, you are indicating that the event has 50 to 70 percent probability to happen. Okay. If you use will, is about 70 to 90 percent. Okay. If you use going to, is 90 to 99 percent probability that the event will happen okay but yeah you can use it in yeah. any of those okay but if you use it is that you indicating what i just told you okay very good eleonora Thank you. let's do the next one if <laughs> if i if i Pardon, teach. Excuse me. If I study, I will. I will pass the exam. Excellent. Very good. I will <coughs> pass the exam. Okay. Very good. I will pass the exam. Okay, uh, Mario. What is the next one? If the song. <clears throat> Did the sun sh shine? Okay, shines because it's the sun, we have to write the S. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. If the sun shines, uh -huh. we will walk into, into town. We will walk into town. That's correct. We will walk into town. Okay, very good. That is excellent. Okay, let me see. Let's go back to... Let's go back to Maria Jose, number three. Okay. If he has a temperature, he will see the doctor. Okay. If he has temp a temperature, he okay. will see the doctor. Okay. Perfect. He will Teacher, see the do doctor. we need the at temperature? Well, uh, I will say if he has temperature. But okay. it's okay to say if he has a temperature too, okay? The exercise is like that. I wouldn't use ah, but the exercise was just like that, okay? So okay. it's okay. Number four, uh, Jordana. Yes, if my friend, if my friend, if my friends come, I'll be very happy. I'll be very happy. Okay, very good. I will be very happy. Okay, very good. The next one, Guille. Yeah, uh, if she earns a lot of money, she will fly to New York. If she earns a lot of money, she will fly mm -hmm. to New York. She will fly to New York. Very good. Excellent. I can see that you are doing excellent. Very good. Eleonora, the next one. Is if we travel to London, we we will the museum. We we will visit the museum. The museum. Museum. We will visit the museums. Okay, the very museum. good. Excellent. Mario, the next one. If you 
If you wear sandals in the mountains, you okay. will sleep on the rocks. If you wear sandals in the mountain, you will sleep. You will sleep on the rocks. That is correct. Very good. You know what is the meaning of will sleep? Yeah. Se deslizará en las rocas. Okay, number eight. Uh, Guadalupe. If Rita forgets the forget her homework, the teacher will give her a low mark. Uh -huh. If Rita forgets her homework, the teacher will give her a low mark. Okay, very good. Now, the next one, Ivan. If they go to the disco, they will listen to loud music. If they go to the disco, they will listen. <clears throat> they will listen to loud music. Okay, very good. That is great, Ivan. Okay, next, uh, Karen. If you wait a minute. If you I will minute, ask him my parent. Uh, I, I will, will ask my parents. I will ask my parents. Very good. Excellent. Okay, next, Alexandra. Um, if you don't hurry, hurry we will great. be late. If you don't hurry. So if you don't hurry, we will be late. Okay, very good. Alex Rodriguez, number 12. If Enrico passes his exam, he okay. will passes his exam, he will be very happy. Uh -huh. If Enrico passes his exam, Pass. he will be very happy. Okay, very good. Okay, next, let's go back again. Okay, uh, Guadalupe, number 13. However, however, if Enrique uh, fails, fails he, will, he won't be very happy. Okay, that is correct. He won't be very happy. Okay, excellent. Okay, next, uh, uh, Ivan. If you stay awake all night, you will be tired tomorrow. You will be tired tomorrow. Okay, very good. You will, you will be very tired tomorrow. Okay, very good. Karen, number 15. Alan, don't win. No, don't is when I use it with I, you, we, they. But for okay. he, she, and in it, what do you use? What do you use, Karen? For he, she, and okay. it. Not. I don't know. Yes. Uh huh. If I Alan. I not the lottery. Doesn't? Doesn't. Win? Uh, if Alan doesn't win the lottery? If he doesn't buy a ticket. No, if he doesn't win the lottery? Uh, he... Alan, I'm sorry. This is, I'm sorry. He is, mm -hmm. Here is supposed to be, uh, yeah. what is the negative of will? Karen? Want. Won. I'm sorry. So if uh, Alan won't win the lottery, if he doesn't buy a ticket. I'm yes. sorry, I got mm -hmm. confused. Okay, next. Uh, Jordana, number 16. 
Okay. If you eat too much chocolate, you will become fat. You will become fat. Okay. Very good. That is correct. Excellent. Okay. Next, Maria. Jose. Okay. We want to go to the restaurant if you're not hungry. We won't go to the restaurant if you're not hungry. Okay, very good. And the last one, Alex Rodriguez. If Rick drives too fast, he has an accident. He, he will, will, has. Okay, but remember when we use will, with all the pronouns, are you, we, he, she, and it, we always use have. Okay? So only when it's simple present is that we use have. Okay, Alex? Okay. Okay, so be, be very careful there. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good work. Okay, so we're going to forget about this document. And now we're going to go to the book. Okay, the workbook, okay? Okay, so on the workbook on page 52, page 52, here we have this, we did this exercise, you remember? Number five, choose the correct responses. Teacher, your screen is frozen. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Okay, so we did this exercise. I don't know, let's do it again. Choose the correct responses. Okay, question number one. Uh, we can hear you, teacher. You're in mute. Yeah. Yes, I'm mute. Okay, now, here we go. Okay, now, number one, Maria Jose, ask the question, number one. Okay, what if I get in shape this summer? What is the answer, Jordana? Might be able to come rock climbing with me. Uh-huh, you might be able to come to rock climbing with me. Okay, very good, excellent. Now, uh, the next question, Guadalupe, can you read question number two? Yes, what will happen if, you, if I stop start exercising? Okay, Alex, what will happen if I stop exercising? What is the answer? Well, you might gain weight. Well, you might gain weight, very good. The next one, Mario, what is the next question? What if I get a better job? What if I get a better job, Ivan? You'll be able to buy some new clothes. You'll be able to buy some new clothes. Very good. Okay, the next one. Okay, the next one, Guille, can you read the question number four? Yes. Uh, what will happen if I don't get a summer job? Okay, uh, Karen, what will happen if I don't get a summer job? You will probably have to find a roommate when high school starts. Okay, very good. That is correct. Very good. Now, guys, let's go here. Verb pairs. Now, which, go, which words go which, with which verbs? Complete the chart. For example, feel energetic. What else do you feel? A cold. Feel relaxed. Relaxed. Relaxed, right? So you feel relaxed, relaxed right here. Okay, very good. Now, what do you get? Get married. You get married. What else do you get? Get a call. You get a call. Very good. You get married. And you get a cold. Now, what do you lose? Lose weight. Wait. Wait. You lose weight. And what else do you lose? Energetic. Diet. No, you lose? 
touch. So that means, for example, if you have friends and you don't see them anymore, you lose touch with them. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, with quit, what do you quit? Dieting. Dieting. And what else do you quit? Exercising. Exercising. Okay, repeat after me. Feel energetic. Feel energetic. Feel relaxed. Feel relaxed. Get married. Get married. Get a cold. Get a cold. Lose weight. Lose weight. Lose touch. Lose touch. Lose touch. Quit dieting. Quit, quit, quit dieting. Diet. Quit exercising. Quit exercising. Okay, very good. Now, with these verbs combined with these words, we are going to make <laughs> conditional sentences. Type one. Example, if I feel energetic, I might go for a walk. Okay, let's see. Jordana. Okay. What if about I, if you feel relaxed? If I feel relaxed, I will fall asleep. I will fall asleep. Very good. Okay, Karen. What happens if you get a cold? If if um cold if, if I you, get if I get cold a cold I might mm, use a uh, sweater I might use a sweater okay now Ivan what happens if you get a cold if I get a cold. I will get to the drugstore and get some medicine. I will go. I will go to the drugstore and buy some medicine. Okay? Now, I will go to the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, what happened if you get married? Okay. Let me see. Uh, let me see you all. Uh, who is not married? Maria Jose, you are not married, right? No, what happens if you get married? <laughs> If I get married, I will have a, a baby. <laughs> okay. Karen, are you married, Karen? No. Okay. What happens if you get married? Mm. Uh, I don't. <laughs> if I get married, I will spend all my money. Now, Ivan, are you married? Yeah. It was Mario. Ah, Mario. Mario, are you married? No, teacher. <laughs> what happened if you get married? <laughs> I will spend all my money. You will spend your money. That's correct. Who else? Alex, are you married? Yes, I'm married. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> are you married? <laughs> no, <Yeah>. teacher. <laughs> what happens if you get married? <laughs> uh... Oh, God. You will have... Besides baby, you will have a grown baby. Okay. Okay. Very good. <laughs> okay. Now let's get back to this. Okay. Now what happens if you, if you lose weight? Eleonora, what happens if you lose weight? If I lose, if I lose weight, I might be healthy. 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 Okay, very good. Now, let me see. Uh, Guille, what happens if you lose weight? Uh, I will be able to, to run fast. Faster. Okay. Faster, I mean. Faster. Okay, very good. Uh, what happens? Uh, let me see. Mario, what happens if you lose touch with your friends? I will probably don't see again here. I probably won't see them again. I probably won't see them again. Uh-huh. Uh, 
Jordana, what happens if you lose touch with your friends? I will miss them. If I lose touch with my friends, I will miss them. Okay, very good. Now, uh, let me see. Guadalupe, what happens if you quit dieting? If I quit dieting, I going getting weight. I am going to gain. I am weight. going. I am going to gain. Gain? Yes. Okay, for weight, that is the word that we use, gain. Okay, gain. Lose weight or gain weight? Ganar peso. Oh, okay. okay. So that is the word that you use for losing weight or gaining weight. Alexandra, yes. what happened if you... I'm sorry? And if I say getting weight, uh, it can be? Uh, no, because uh, for weight is gaining weight or losing weight. That is the correct word. Okay. Okay. Now you may say I can add some more weight. Add. Agregar. You remember mm -hmm. add? Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's the cool. correct way is gain. Alexandra, cool. what happens if you quit if you quit exercising? Mm, maybe I will gain weight. You will gain weight. Okay, very good. Now I will be fat again. Can I be will be fat. Or I will, yeah, I will be fat. Be fat. Now remember if uh well, never mind. Now here, complete the sentences with your own information. Add a comma where necessary. You remember that if the X clause can come before or after the main clause, before the main clause, you add a comma, okay? But if the main clause, the if clause goes after the main clause, no comma is necessary, okay? Okay, let's see here. If I move to a cheaper apartment, I'll be able to buy a car. Why? Because I'm saving money because it's cheaper. I'll be able to buy a car if I move to a cheaper apartment. If I go shopping on Saturday, I might spend too much money. Let's see. Uh, Alex, I'll feel healthier. Um, I will be happy. No, because here is the result. So you need the if clause. I'll feel healthier. If I... Uh, if I do exercise. Exercise. If I do exercise. Uh -huh. I'll feel healthier if I do exercise. exercise. Eleonora. If I run more time. I'm sorry? If I run more time. If I run more time, I feel healthier if I go on a diet, right? Eleonora, if I get more exercise. I might be healthy, no. I might feel. I'm, I might feel healthy. Healthier, okay, very good, mm -hmm. Karen. If I don't get good grades in school, I might finish. Um, uh huh. I might. Okay. The word for that is a uh, fail. If I don't get good grades in school, I might fail the year, or I might fail the year or the subject. 
I want Grand Lake can be possible, teacher? Yes, it is possible. It is so true. If I, if you don't study, let me see what it was. Yes, if I don't get good grades in school, I won't graduate, right? I will fail. If I don't get good grades in school, I won't pass, right? Okay, next, uh, Jordana, I might get more sleep. Turn, your, turn on your microphone, I can we hear. can hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, I might get more sleep if I stop watching TV earlier. <laughs> okay, if I stop watching TV earlier. Or if I exercise, I might get more sleep because you're tired. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay Alexandra, I'll be happy. I'll be happy if I travel to Paris. To Paris, okay, very good. Ivan. I'll be happy. I'll be happy if I get a good job. If I, well, if if you earn more salary, you will be happy. Probably is what you say, right? Because yeah. if you get a good job with the same salary, mm, I wouldn't be so happy. Mm. Yes. Yeah. What will yeah. be, how will you be happier? Um... I'll be happy if I if I eat more vegetables, for example. Oh. Okay, if I eat more vegetables, I wouldn't be too happy if I eat more vegetables, you know. <laughs> I don't I well, I like some vegetables, but not all the vegetables, okay? okay. Some of them. It's okay. Good try. <laughs> okay. Thank okay, you. now look, nouns and adjectives. Complete the chart with another form of the word giving. Now, the noun is energy. What is the adjective? What is the adjective? Energetic. Energetic. That is correct. Energetic. Okay. Energetic. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Energetic. So, very good. The adjective is energetic. Now, the adjective is environmental. What is the noun? Environment. 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 Very good. The noun is health. What is the Healthier. adjective? Healthier. Healthy. 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 Remember, healthier is the comparative. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But healthy, only healthy is the adjective. Now, the adjective is medical. What is the noun? Medicine. Medicine. Okay. And the adjective is medical. Now, the noun is success. What is the adjective? Successful. 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 Very good. Successful. So take a look. Complete the sentences. Use the words. Use the words in part A, whether it's a noun or an adjective. There have been lots of medical advances in the past half century, but there is still no cure for the common cold. Okay, number two, volunteer. There are, all, there, are lot, there are a lot of environmental problems in my country. There is too much pollu air pollution and the, rire, the, and the rivers, rivers are, are dirty. Very good, very good. There are a lot of environmental problems in my country, okay? There, there's too much air pollution and the rivers are dirty. Okay, who wants to try with number three? My health is not as good as it used to be. So I decide to eat better food and go swimming every day. I don't know. So my health... <laughs> is not as good as it used to be. So I decided to eat better 
food and go swimming every day. Great. Okay, now number four. Now let me make this a little smaller so everybody can see. Okay, can you see? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Now number number four. My party was a great success. I think I might have another one soon. Okay, so my party was a great success. So you're gonna use a noun. My party was a great success. So my party was successful. Is that clear? Mi fiesta fue un gran éxito. Mi fiesta fue exitosa. Okay, so here, success. My party was a great success. I think I might have another one soon. Okay, number five. If I start exercise, ex exercising more often, I might have more energy. I might have more energy. Very good. Now, with the, with those uh, sentences, well, rewrite these sentences. Find another way to say each sentence using the words given. If I stop eating rich food, I, might, I may be able to lose weight. Now, diet. If I go on a diet, I, might, I may be able to lose weight. Now, number two, who wants to try? In the future, not many people will use cash to buy things. In the future, mm -hmm. few people will use cash to buy things. Uh-huh, so the opposite will be? In the in future, the... few people use. Will well, use. Will we'll use. Cash. Cash to buy things. That's correct, in the future. Instead of not many people, I will use few. In the future, few people will use cash to buy things. Very good. Now, number three, today. People is past. People is less than before. In a... Today, people use bicycle used to them before. No, not today. In, in the past, past. In the past. People used to use bicycles less no, often. More. Than, more. Uh -huh. In the past, people, people used, used to use bicycles more often than today. Exactly. People use bicycles more often than today. Okay, now number four. If I get a better job, I can buy an apartment. If I get a job, I will be able to buy an apartment. If I get a better job, I will be able to buy an apartment. Very good. And number five. There's going, come on, come on. There's going to be. There is going to be um, a big new shopping, shopping center, shopping center downtown. downtown. So. There's going to be there's going to be a mall, a mall, downtown. A mall downtown. downtown. Right? There's going to be a mall downtown a instead mall. of a, a new mall. You can say a new mall downtown. Is that clear? Teacher. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, excuse me. Yes. What's the difference between shopping center and, and mall? Well, shopping center is a small and a mall is bigger. For example, mm -hmm. Multiplaza is a mall. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, I don't know where you live, but I, I live here near San Luis. So uh, San Luis is a shopping center, it's small. And Multiplaza is very big, so that is a mall. A shopping center is a place where you have a bank, you have a couple of banks, you have restaurants, you have a supermarket, you have a couple stores, okay? But uh, a mall, ooh, you have a lot of those stores, a lot of restaurants, a lot of supermarkets. Is that clear? Yes, thank you. Okay, very good. Now let's get in, let's get down to this. Okay, now we're gonna switch to the, where's my book? I don't see it. 
It's right here. Okay. Now, reading. That is on page, let me see. That is on page 63. Okay. So listen, listen to me. Are you in love? What is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? Questions. We can Teacher, hear. the screen. Uh -huh. You have another screen for the same. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Ah, okay. Hold on a second, please. Okay. Let me let me see. Here we go. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. 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 So are you in love? What is the difference between having a crush on someone and falling in love? Do you know what is having a crush? <laughs> a crush is it's a, like a, a, an impossible a, love. Uh -huh. A kind of impossible love is a crush. Yes. Really? <laughs> Maybe not that impossible, but it's a and little bit difficult. Wow. <laughs> well, having having a crush is like having a, is like an attraction. That is having a crush. Okay, having a physical attraction. Okay, so that is a, having a crush. Maybe a little more, but falling in love is falling in love. <laughs> It's out of her. <laughs> to be in love, to be in love, and having a crush is not as falling in love. <laughs> the opposite here. of falling in love. <laughs> Let's see right here. You think you're falling in love? You're really attracted to a certain person, but this has happened before, and it was just a crush. That's what I'm saying. You're really attracted to a certain person. That is just having a crush. How can you tell if it is real this time? Here's what our reader says. If you're falling in love, you'll find yourself talking or talking to or telephoning the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there's not. <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you are falling in love, You'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend begins. You interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. Right? <laughs> because you are in love. You might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. When a woman asks me to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love, said a TV sports announcer. Yeah, <laughs> women don't like football, especially American football. But when they ask, hey, tell me all about football, uh -huh, they are falling in love. Okay, so you're falling in love, but falling in love is one thing, and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you are still in love. If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. Do you hear that? Yes. How yes. can you tell as time passes, Okay, how can you tell that you are staying in love? As time passes, if you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much as the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. You'll find that you can be yourself with this person. So you don't need to be another person to attract her, to call her attention. So being yourself is enough. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid, afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now 
You can be totally honest. You can trust him or her to accept you as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Questions? Oh. No. no question. Teacher, yes. yes. What's the meaning of nevertheless? Nevertheless, sin embargo. But this person will nevertheless, sin embargo, se convertirá more, more important in your life. Okay. Thank you. Okay. More questions? What is no, the meaning of it's... suddenly? You can either. You can either suddenly, repentinamente, you might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. You can either use how, however, or nevertheless. They they mean the, yes, the same. Yes, sir. That is correct. Okay. You can use however, nevertheless, and nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Okay. More questions. No, no, no. Okay, okay so mm -hmm. nevertheless, comma, none, nonetheless, and however means the same thing. Okay, all of them mean the same thing. Okay? Very yes. good. Now, questions. Okay, let's go here. What do you think about this? Okay, tell me. Uh, where do you think this article is from? From, uh, from a newspaper, from a magazine, or from a where? Magazine. Magazine. From a magazine. From a magazine, or an, ad an advice column. Or um, an advertisement. For me, it's, it's in a, an, a, mag a magazine. A oh, magazine. It's called a magazine. Well. Okay, maybe a magazine, maybe an advice column. Okay, very good. Now, what thing happens when you are falling in love compared to staying in love? Complete the chart. What happens when you are falling in love? You are calling this person all the time. With no okay, reason. You, uh -huh, very good. You call this person all the time. That is one. Okay. You what are else? You are interested in things that you used to avoid. You are interested. You are interested in things you used to avoid. Very good. That is correct. So here is one. You suddenly, suddenly you be interested in things that you used to avoid. Next. Brings this person into every conversation. You bring this person into every conversation, okay? <laughs> you find yourself talking to or telephoning this person for no reason. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, so those are the three things that you can recognize that you are I falling in love. Now, what are three things that you may say you are staying in love? When your partner is becoming more than more important in your life. Uh -huh, okay, so your partner, okay, or yeah, it becomes more and more important in your life. Okay, that is number one. What may else? not talk may not talk as much about the person but you are in love uh-huh now number two you find that you can be yourself with this person right you can and be totally honest you accept him or her as they are, they are. As they are. Uh -huh. okay and you can be totally honest. It's another way, okay? You can be totally honest. So you'll find that you can be yourself. And the other one is? 
when you can you trust, can trust him, him or her to accept trust him or yeah. he or her to accept you yes as you are okay very good do you okay. have any questions about this no 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 teacher now which is more difficult falling in love or staying in love staying in love, staying in love. <laughs> <laughs> Staying in love, right? It's difficult to accept a person the way they are. Okay? Right. Now, probably it's easy to become more, that they become more and more important to you. Okay? But uh, that you'll find that they can be yourself with this person. You can, uh, even though there are some things that you don't like about yourself, but the other person accepts them, right? And the other one is trust, which is the most difficult, right? Especially yeah. for women. I don't know why women don't trust us. <laughs> I don't know why. why. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, I, I, know, I don't know why. I don't know why. Me neither. <laughs> all the men be honest all the time. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't say lies like a like a well, woman. Okay, so very good. With this, we finish unit number nine, and we finish section number four. Let me show you. Okay, let me show you. So that is the last thing. Okay, remember conditional sentence with if clauses. You can do knowledge check four point eleven. And then you can do the reading. Are you in love? Are you in love? Are you falling in love? Or are you staying in love? I'm okay. not in love. <laughs> <laughs> so you can finish section number four. Okay? Remember, you have to do the listening. Well, first you have to do the time contrast. Remember? talking about the present, talking about the past, the present, and the future. Then you can do the listening for better or for worse. Then you can do the conditional sentence with if clauses. And then you can do the reading that we already did here. Do you have any questions? No, no. teacher. No. Are you sure? No, thank you. Yeah, we're sure. Yes. Okay, so remember, please, Okay, try to do all the exercises. Try to be uh, updated with the platform. Okay, so by the end of this weekend, I suggest you that you do, that you finish section number four. And for the ones that still have to do uh, the homework for, for section three and do the midterm, uh, update this weekend. Okay, so we'll be ready for next for next week i'm i'm planning that tomorrow we'll start unit five and we finish on monday so tuesday we can review wednesday you do the final and thursday we can review everything that you have done okay 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 okay, okay. so very good okay, teacher. okay very Thank good you. so i wish you um a Merry Christmas and a happy night tonight, okay? <laughs> so go ahead and have a good night. Uh, get some rest. Be ready for tomorrow, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful see you tomorrow. night. Okay? Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Rest. Rest Bye. a lot, Bye. please, okay? Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.